Stan, you've been in Australia since 1963. What do you miss yeah. most about Wales and other parts of the UK? Well, I miss nothing about Wales, really. Nothing. I've been back so many times and it's always so gloomy, you know? Um, but there must be things you miss about the UK. Oh, I miss my nephew Mark a lot. Um, my sister-in-law Sheila, she's, and uh, her sister um, Jane. But I don't, I, of course, I come from a very dysfunctional family. And I've got a beautiful uh, niece called Amy that I talk to all the time. And, um, but I don't miss Wales as such. But I've got a lot of friends still in Wales, you know, Alan Jones, Griffiths and uh, Trevor. And um, I miss, uh, miss the camaraderie of, of um, Welsh people. There's something different. You know. What about I, the culture? The culture, well I never, see I left home when I was about 13 and I never, I didn't go to different um, historic places in Wales and stuff like that. I, once I got into the show business, well, it was my life, you know, and I didn't know what I was getting into because showbiz is the, mo is, is the most unreliable profession. I mean, you can be working for six months and then for months after you've, you've got no work and you have to survive and, you know, uh, you take any job. You, um, you grab, I've done so many different jobs. You migrated at 22. I migrated, I was a 10 pound pom at 22 and, um, came over here in 63 and about four or five months after coming here, I, of course I joined A Girls in 63, which is just open. Which was the review show. A A Girls review, but I don't want to get too much away because this is all in the book. And you're the author. I am indeed. Is there anything like food back in Britain you miss? No. Nothing? No. Entertainment? Oh, I'd love to see shows, big shows, pantomimes, you know, shows in the West End. Um, I, I love a good pantomime. Would you like to visit Britain again? I'd like to. I want to try and get over in 23 uh, next year. But, um, you know, I'm 82-ish, so... Have you any messages for people back in Wales? Oh, Diach yn Fawr yn Cymru am Beth. No, <laughs> that's about all I know in what, South Wales. Yeah, South Wales. Because I, I only went to North Wales <coughs> once <coughs> to perform. And that's where they speak more Welsh, isn't it? Yes. And that was a disaster. <laughs> it was in Bangor. I'll never forget it. Oh, Bangor. Anyway. Do you ever wonder what your life would have turned out like if you'd stayed in Wales or other parts of Britain? If I'd stayed in Wales, I don't know, because I'd started, um, I'd started working as a baker, so I probably would have ended up life as a baker and been, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I would have done if I hadn't come into the beach. And finally, any message for anybody who would be thinking of moving to Australia? Oh, get on the next boat. <laughs> to Australia? Yes, if you've got a profession, get on the boat, get on the plane. Yes, yes, it's fabulous. Um, Australia's been so good to me, you know. I um, wouldn't be living here now in paradise, as you can see. And you're in Kyogle in the Northern Kyogle, Rivers. Kyogle, yes, I haven't worked. I haven't done any proper shows for um since the start of covid because you made your name as a drag queen didn't you well yes and the thing is i um i uh i'm starting this show on saturday now this is my first show but it's been properly uh, produced and directed you know and it's not 
It's not stand up. I'm not doing three minutes lip sync. Um, I'm doing a full show all about my life. And seven people have helped me put it on, you know. Got the lighting crew, um, sound, the director, Lynette Zito, who hasn't screamed at me yet. And of course, Kevin Markwell has just been um, fantastic. The show will be amazing. Yes, and I've had some beautiful costumes made by Steve Harrison. Do you know this eye? I'm trying to look at you now because, you know, this eye operation still hasn't settled down. So I'm looking at two of you at the moment. One's bad enough. And it's, it's driving me mad. You know, I go back to see the, um, the uh, specialist on the 9th of, uh, 7th of December. And then on uh, next Thursday, I have to, wouldn't you know it, when I'm just about to do a show, I get a cancer Ouch. thing come up on my face. Now, I did a rehearsal last week and I had to cover it with makeup. I'm taking it off with torturous. <laughs> but I have to have it, um, uh, have a biopsy on it next week. But I said to the doctor, I said, please don't make, leave a big hole in my face, for God's sake. So he's going to take a biopsy, then he's sending me to a plastic surgeon where they do this tiny, tiny little stitches. So that's, isn't it horrible? You'll look like a Hollywood star. Oh no, please, a monster. Look at all this neck. You look amazing. Where did that come from, for fuck's sake? <laughs> Stan, thank you. Okay, and thank you. Thank you, viewers. It's lovely then, isn't it? All the way from Wales, Stan.